Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Muhammad Shweb. Today in this tutorial video, we will learn how we can create a new project in WinCC Scada. To open the WinCC Explorer, you can either uh, double click here in the desktop or you can navigate through the start menu. So I will open it from here desktop. Double click here WinCC Explorer. Click here in file and then click add new. So we can create three type of projects here in WinCC Explorer, single user project, multi-user project, and the client project. We'll see in detail what all the, uh, these options. Single user project. In the single user uh, setup, the all component of WinCC are installed on a single machine. This include the engineering tools, runtime environment, and database. The single machine serve as a development node also and as an operator workstation also. In this architecture is typically used for the small level application where the managed and operated by the one user. This uh, setup is uh, very straightforward. It's very cost effective and easy to maintain. And it's usually uh, used uh, for the small and medium level application where the system is not more complex. Uh, but the other case, uh, the multi-project, like the multi-project system architecture uh, design allow multiple engineers and operator can work simultaneously and this is uh, this setup is a typical include a central server where the WinCC project is stored and the multi uh, multiple client workstation can access the project and engineering and runtime also this multi-user architecture is ideally used for the large project so that's actually the uh, few difference between the single project and the multi-project. So in this tutorial uh, video, uh, we'll use the single user project. Uh, this tutorial is for the beginner uh, series. We'll use the single user project. For the advanced WinCC tutorial series, we'll uh, create a multi-user project. So just select the single user project, click OK. Just put your project name. Suppose I will put my project 01 and click here in the create. And the project path, this is a default path. If you want to change uh, this uh, path, you never want to use your default path, you can select any of the your desired location where you want to save the project. So I will just keep it remain same the default location and click here in the create. It will take few minutes to create a new project. So we are successfully able to create our new project. So that's it, like how we can create a new project. Thanks for watching this video.